Gaming Bolt presents Call of Duty World War II. 10 things it introduces and fixes what you hated in the previous games. The promise of taking the series to its roots. World War II will ensure that the series will return to its roots with the boots on the ground combat. Furthermore, both Activision and Sledgehammer Games have promised huge things for this title. The team at Sledgehammer Games is delivering an authentic, gritty cinematic experience that honors both the epic scale and the human struggle of the greatest war the world has ever known. The game will let longtime fans experience World War II like never before and will introduce this historic conflict to a whole new generation of gamers in the process, said Eric Hirschberg, Activision's CEO. Call of Duty World War II has been a journey of inspiration and passion for everyone at Sledgehammer Games. The team is dedicated to delivering on the intense nature of war that focuses on the heroism and sacrifice of soldiers in World War II. Our rich, narrative-driven, action-packed campaign and engaging and innovative multiplayer experience immerse players into the boots of a soldier fighting for freedom in a world on the brink of tyranny," said Michael Condry, studio head and co-founder of Sledgehammer Games. The Setting it's long been suspected on the back of rumors, leaks, and speculation, but this year's Call of Duty game being developed by Sledgehammer Games will be set in the World War II era. Activision has launched the new Call of Duty World War II website, confirming that the series will be returning to its historical roots at last, after increasingly frustrating fans with its focus on science fiction settings over the last few years. A Solid Story I'll be honest, I love the story of Infinite Warfare. I think the game had the best Call of Duty single-player campaign in several years. However, I am intrigued with what World War II has to offer. The game tells the story of Red Daniels, a 19-year-old from Texas. Unlike the heroes in previous Call of Duty games, Daniels is not a superhero. He's a kid who travels to Europe to fight alongside other soldiers. Activision have promised an honest portrayal of World War II from the perspective of the famed 1st Infantry Division, with an ensemble cast of global and diverse characters. Through stunning visuals and intense audio, players storm the beaches of Normandy on D-Day, march across France to liberate Paris, and ultimately push forward into Germany in some of the most monumental battles of all time. The Multiplayer New information regarding Call of Duty World War II's multiplayer was revealed courtesy of VG247, and there's quite a bit in store this time around. Boots on the ground is the big thing this time around, and Sledgehammer founder Michael Condry promises that it will be intense. Fans have been very vocal about their excitement to return to a Call of Duty in that fast-paced action, the grounded action that made Call of Duty great. It's gritty, visceral, and intense first-person combat. Furthermore, the Creator class option is being changed up with Divisions. Though not too much was revealed, Divisions are available to sign up for, similar to how Soldiers signed in World War II. Each Division will help you choose your class, role, and overall gear. Again, more information on this will be needed down the line. War is obviously one of the more interesting new modes. Somewhat like Battlefield 1's operations, it will have a more narrative experience with asymmetrical maps and unique objectives for each team. Normandy Beach, where the Allies have to exit amidst a hail of bullets, while the Axis rain down lead until eventually overcome, is a good example. To be able to put players in these really iconic battles for strategic objectives in this linear fashion is really interesting and fun for us, Condry said. Headquarters is a new social space concept, where players can pretty much chill between matches. Dozens of players can be seen in a single HQ, and they'll be able to showcase their characters, collect rewards, and interact with other players. In a way, it sounds pretty similar to Destiny's social spaces. We really wanted to bring your character to life. In Advanced Warfare, you saw that with the virtual lobby, for the first time you had a character you were attached to meaningfully. This is the evolution of that into headquarters. This is a game changer for Call of Duty. We've never done anything like this before. Multiplayer may support 48 players. Sledgehammer Games got the world buzzing with its reveal trailer for Call of Duty World War II. The multiplayer is especially interesting with the addition of War Mode, where players will fight over different objectives with a more narrative focus. 
and headquarters, a social space of sorts where players can congregate. However, what's interesting is the listing for World War II on the Xbox Store. It says online multiplayer will support 2 to 48 players. While the short clip of Headquarters Showcase definitely fits the bill, the listing doesn't mention it directly. Perhaps this will apply to War Mode. On the Windows Store, though, it says online multiplayer will support 2 to 18 players. This provides even more argument to those 48 players fitting in the new Headquarters. We'll have to wait for even more information from Sledgehammer to know what's up. Less emphasis on cutscenes. Call of Duty World War II is looking to tell a story about World War II, obviously. And this story will be primarily told in game and not via cutscenes, according to what the game's senior creative director Brett Robbins said to Glixel. Our story is much more character focused. The big moments fall flat if you don't care about the guys you're with. The climax of our story lives or dies on how invested you are in the characters. That's a huge risk, and it's something that video games sometimes struggle with," he said. Firewatch is one of my favorite games. Gone Home was great. Games are growing up, and the audience is sophisticated. More and more, they expect a good story, not just from blockbusters, but from indies as well, and the whole genre is being pushed forward. Virginia is another good example. I definitely look to them for inspiration and for techniques. We're not shy about taking our time with the story. We want something meaningful and a bit deeper. You need that kind of quiet to balance the crazy. You need both or one will go flat without the other. We've learned from those other games and are trying to infuse that into ours. It'll be interesting to see if Call of Duty can actually manage to tell a meaningful, quiet story this year. Playable Female Characters If anyone's concerned whether the multiplayer components of World War II won't have female characters, they can put their concerns to rest. Michael Condry has confirmed that there will indeed be female characters in the game's multiplayer offerings. No health regeneration Even with Sledgehammer Games emphasizing authenticity and realism in Call of Duty World War II, it's still a bit shocking that health regen won't be in the game, at least in the single-player campaign. This information comes via Sledgehammer Games co-founder and co-studio head Glenn Schofield, who spoke to Polygon and said, You have to worry about every bullet. You're not the superhero. You can't just stand there taking seven bullets, ducking and shooting again. It's refreshing for us to deal with recruits who aren't tier one warriors to show that vulnerability. They're naive. It's been a really cool challenge creating this different kind of gameplay. Though it hasn't been confirmed if multiplayer will have the same system, it's interesting to see Call of Duty World War II do away with the health regen that's been present since Call of Duty 2. Also, with regards to divisions, it seems that players will be able to choose which division they join, be it infantry, airborne, and armored. From there, they can specialize based on the part they play, with African-American GIs, female resistance fighters, and British soldiers provided as examples. Squad mates will have certain attributes. According to Sledgehammer co-founder Michael Condry in an interview with GamesRadar Plus, your squad mates in the campaign will have different attributes that you can rely on. Part of being this squad and working together was about helping each other out in a very different way than in previous games. This is you relying on your squad, and so that was a mechanic where you can rely on your squad members to help you, and in that case, when you're low on ammo, your squad can share ammo. Certain members of your squad have certain attributes that can help you, and if you're in proximity to one of your squad members and you need their help, you can. It's an active ability. So if you're away from your squad, then you'll have to fight differently to ensure no ammo is wasted. Sticking close to your squad is important. It's still an interesting change and provides some freshness to the usual Call of Duty formula. Nazi Zombies Though not really new in concept, introduces Nazi Zombies, an all-new cooperative mode featuring a unique standalone storyline set during World War II that's full of unexpected adrenaline-pumping action. Unfortunately, we don't have any other information about this, except this close-up screenshot, but the developers have promised that this will be the best Zombies mode yet. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.